Welcome to the Spinning Planet E107 video tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to give you an introduction to E107. What is E107? Well it's a content management system that allows you to update your own website. I'll show you some examples. Here's an example of a website we just built using E107. It's using the latest HTML5 technology that allows us to do background videos, um, transparencies and animations and so forth. Here's an example of the e, new E107 website, very slick, again using the latest web technologies. Here's a business website we just did for uh, Jocelyn's of Fielding, uses an image crossfade module in the front or plugin in the front to, to swap images. Here's an e-commerce website. This is a special plugin that we've created for Steph Lusted Jewelry that allows her to be able to zoom in on these products and also sell them to her international customers. Here's another online shop that we do. Again, it's our e-commerce plugin, which is separate from E107. Okay, so now that we've had a look at those, let's have a look at our itinerary. So first, I've explained what E107 is. Again, it's a content management system that allows you to update your own website without any programming knowledge. E107 is open source, so you don't have any um, ongoing software license fees. E107 is continually improving, so your website can be kept up to date and secure. And it also has extra functionality that you can add, like a shopping cart system or e-newsletters that you can add by installing new plugins. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how it easy it is to log into the admin area then we'll create an editor page then we'll add some photos and attach documents and maybe even a video and then we'll create some custom layouts so your page looks more professional more like a magazine okay let's get right into it back into our web browser here I'll close, the, close these windows okay so I've got this um, demo site that I set up there's nothing on it yet um, to log into the admin area we always put this admin link in the bottom right hand corner but um, if your website isn't with us then your admin area is probably e107 underscore admin that goes at the end of your domain name but we always just make it here because it's a lot easier because I logged in earlier it's remembered my credentials which is good so I'll just click login Okay, in the admin area, it's got a bunch of icons that shows you stuff to do. Yours probably looks different, but that's okay. The nice thing about E107 is that you can also design the admin area, and that's particularly helpful for web design companies like ours, because we can tailor the back end to our customers. So we like it to look a lot simpler. Let's not worry about these for the time being. I want to show you something else. Click the Leave Admin link. And now what you'll notice is this little icon is showing up. This only shows to admins, but it, allow, it allows you to quickly edit that page. So click on that, and then I can instantly just start adding stuff in there. So I've got some text that I prepared earlier. I'm just going to copy and paste that over. So Control V to paste it in there. And now I'm going to format the text. So I select that top bit. And I'll change that to a heading one. Whoops, that changed all of it. Oops, they're linked together. I'll just separate them. Try that again. Should work now. Heading one. And I just want that to be, oh, yep, default paragraph text. That's good. Uh, I'd also like an image to be on the right hand side. So if I put my cursor right at the start there and I go insert edit image, and then you click this browse icon. I'm going to choose an image from our library that's already here um, but you could easily just upload your own and I'll show you how to do that soon now when you're putting in the image description and image title always try and be as descriptive as possible because that helps Google find your website as I said I want this to align to the right of this text so if I click on appearance I can then change alignment to right. Shows me a bit of a preview of how it's going to look here. And then I want the horizontal space, which is the left and right, to have a padding of 10 pixels, just so it's got a bit more white space around it. 
and see how that's automatically added that padding in so let's have a look at that that's looking good I'll just save this so you can have a look so you click update page we now go back to our front page um, you see that it's made this all a nice big large font because the E107 website template defines what a heading is, defines what the um, default font size is. That ensures that your website looks consistent page after page. So let's click on that edit link again. Go back in there. Now what I want to add is um, three images. So I could just put them side by side, but a really good way to lay out a page is to use tables. So tables are like invisible cells that you can set up on the page. I think the best thing to do is just show you what it does. So I want a table with three columns, two rows, and I want it to be 100% the width of the page. So when I insert that, it spreads that right across the page. And now I can put some photos in there. So I go insert edit image, go browse. This time we're going to upload um, some photos. So we go select files. And we can select multiple files so I'm going to select those actually if I go by modified I can select all of those and go open then I click upload now that's already uploaded all those files and now I can go and choose the ones I want so I want that one and I'm just going to use the same text I used before just to speed things up and I'll go and put my cursor into the next cell there and I'll add another image again browse I'll use that one there and one more time browse select the image and I'll select that one there so now we've got our three images um, I'd like a bit more space after that so in here I'll just press enter a couple of times. Let's click update and see what that looks like. Okay, that's looking good. There might be a bit too much space there. I'm not worried about that. Now, what if I want to put a video on the page? Let's give that a go. So click edit. And let's put the video down here a bit further. So you go insert edit embedded media. And now we head off to uh, YouTube. So I want to put this video on my page, click the share button, um, then tick options, then tick long link. Um, for some reason it doesn't like the short links that YouTube uses, and then copy that. Go back to your website, just paste it in there, that's all you need to do, you don't need any other settings. And now that's inserted that video, I don't want it to sit, let, sit left, I want it to sit centre, so we click centre. And let's update that page. Let's have a look. Oh, there's our new video. As you can see, once you get used to it, it's actually quite quick to create content, but it just takes a little bit of practice. Now let's create a link. Okay, so let's say I want this text here to be a link. Oops, I just let it go. So I click and drag over it. And then I click the insert edit link icon and you just type in the link http colon forward slash forward slash dub 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 dot spinning planet dot co dot nz. I normally change the target to blank and so what this means is when they click on the link it'll actually open our website in another tab so it doesn't get rid of uh, this website. So let's click insert. Now you can do the same thing on images. So if I click on this and I click into edit link, let's send it off to e107.org. And again, I'll make, make it target a blank window or a blank tab. And now that's going to be clickable. Let's try it out. Update page. Click on welcome. Click on that link and it's just going off to e107. Okay, so what if I want this welcome to be in this main menu? Well, let's go back into our admin area. I'll show you where you can edit that stuff. You go settings, and then you go site links. So in here, we haven't got 
um, the link for the page we just created. So let's go back to that page and I'll show you how to do this. You just go custom menu pages, right click on that link and go copy, copy link address. Might be called something different in your browser but in mine it's called that. Then let's go back to um, site links and we'll create a new link and we'll call the link home and we'll paste that URL in there. Um, now that could actually lead, link off to other websites too if you wanted, but I'll just show you where this is added. So now it's created a home link there. Oh, but um, I wanted my home link to be before contact us. So let's go back in the admin area, settings, oops, site links, and we want to move home to number one. And we'll have contact us number two and stats is number three. You'll notice that stats can only be viewed by the administrator. So if I update that, if I leave the admin area, you can see I can see the stats. But if I go back and I log out, it now doesn't show to me. So as you can see, it's really easy to add content. And if you use tables, you can actually do some quite fancy layouts to make your website look more like a magazine. So now I want to show you some advanced stuff. Great thing about E107 is you can always upgrade it by adding in new modules or they're called plugins on the E107 website and they can add any functionality you want. So I thought I'd show you some of ours. These are commercial plugins, they're not free. So if I go over here, we call it modules but E107 calls it plugins, but it's the same thing. So we, we of course run a lot of our own modules and our own website. But let me just give you an example of our two most favorite ones. One is our shopping cart module. So this allows our clients to add discounts, add vouchers, add products, upload all the images, um, add in gateways that do credit card processing. It's a fully fledged shopping cart system. We also have a newsletter system that allows us to schedule newsletters to send out to thousands of recipients. It also creates an automatic archive on the website. So if I go and have a look at our monthly SP newsletter or newswire, and feel free to go to our website and sign up to it. It's a lot of good information. Let's have a look at the last one. And it shows us the last newsletter there. And so that's what people see in their email inbox when we send it out to them each month. So as you can see, E107 is a really powerful system and it's developed and used by thousands of people worldwide. It can also grow with your business because it has that edit, added plugin functionality. To find more tutorials and find out more about E107 um, system, the first place you'd go is E107 um, and click on learn all about E107. And if you want to see our video tutorials, you can go to the Spinning Planet website forward slash video dash tutorials.